don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Twisted kinds of love are the best kinds of love. Yes, they are. But yeah, I mean, between the commercials and uh, the halftime show and just the styling of how they videotape or, you know, cast the game, football is pretty enjoyable for women to watch nowadays. I mean, just looking at the guys alone, it's like, yeah. When I was younger, like I've all, most of my female friends typically are older than I am. And when I was younger, I always, you know, was like, man, why is my friend so-and-so so into watching football? I see why now, but I had to get older to <laughs> figure out why. So anyway, I'm putting my glasses on so I can see it super, super clear. I'm watching, get all nerd and geeked out and shit. All right, lady. God bless America. Let she looks pretty high up. Where is she standing? I thought she was at the Super Bowl. Oh, I see. Go Gaga. lovely gaga this year she was just like you know what i'm gonna fly i'm gonna fly over the super bowl <laughs> face oh this is awesome I hope she doesn't get hurt though <laughs> oh and look at that keyboard The circle, that's amazing. I like these costumes. I'm glad she's doing this song because this is like a gay anthem and it's gotta be hitting the gays in our society so hard with all this madness that the fraud is, you know, revving up against them. 
because it's wrong. I mean, they've been fighting all this time for their rights and equality and social acceptance, and now you got. I, I mean, I can't believe they took the LGBT uh, page off the White House website. That was shitty. It's like you, you can't pr- pretend like, you know, they're not here because they're here. So anyway, I'm glad she's doing this. I feel like it's a big slap in the fraud's face. Go Lady Gaga. Yeah. That's right. She's like the ice queen now. Who's this guy who has her pick, is picking her up? <laughs> I don't know what the point of, point was for that part of the dance. That was kind of weird. Maybe it was from like the music video because I haven't seen the music video for the song. I don't think. I like how she's always so kind of space futuristic with her styling. I love that. I feel like she's a, almost, she is a little bit before her time, I think, even though she is mainstream. She's like a pop star from Star Trek. <laughs> That's really cool how she's playing her keyboard and she's got the guy to hold the mic for her. She's like, I can do both at the same time. And now I'm just gonna dance with my keyboard. I wonder how old she is. Let's look that up. This is a slick show. It is a slick, slick show. How you doing tonight, Texas? America? World? How you doing tonight? We're here to make you feel good. You want to feel good with us? You're giving me a million reasons to let you go You're giving me a million reasons to quit the show You're giving me a million reasons Give me a million reasons Giving me a million reasons About a million reasons If I had a yeah, I would run for the hills If you could find a dry way I'd forever be still You're giving me a million reasons Give me a million reasons Giving me a million She is such an amazing performer. Hey, Dad. Hi, Mom. It's the same as something I look up in the stairs. It's like when I stop breathing, but completely aware. Because you've given me a million reasons. Give me a million reasons. Given me a million reasons. About a million reasons. And if you say something. 
something that you might even mean. It's hard to even fathom which parts I should believe. The only thing about Lady Gaga is that it's hard to really see what she looks like because of all the makeup and everything. Oh, I love I love that particular dancer. She always showcases him. He's so awesome. Uh oh, she changed. She's in good shape. I like that little outfit thing that she's wearing. That's cute. <sighs> I don't know which halftime I liked better. The one with um, Bruno Mars and Beyonce or this one? I like them both equally, I think. This is more of a slick clubby kind of feel. South Beach. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm glad she's doing um, songs that I know. Because I don't know all of her songs, but so far most of the songs that she's done are songs that I know are her. I, I really love Lady Gaga. And it's weird because it's to me at least it's kind of like she came out of nowhere like she's kind of a madonna michael jackson caliber performer but new that's right i don't want to be friends either Yeah. Oh, this is a badass show. You knew it was going to be badass. I knew it. Ah, I wish that she would do poker face again because she'd already did it, but. That would have kind of been cool to close with. That's all right. Whoa, where did she jump to? <laughs> all these fireworks and everything. I was really impressed actually to see uh, Barbara Bush wheel out George Sr. You know, that actually kind of went with the Lady Gaga thing because I don't know if any of you out there have seen the Lady Gaga. Um, oh, what show was it? I think it was a music award show. But uh, she on the show had one of her dancers wheel her out in a wheelchair at one point when she was doing her rendition of Poker Face. 
So see, just knowing that Lady Gaga was going to perform today and seeing Barbara wheeling out George, you know, that was pretty symbolic in a way. Um, I think those two are both just hanging on because they see what has happened with the fraud. And I think they're probably even more angry than I am. Involved in a lot of campaigns. Mm -hmm. Too many. Yeah. But as you watch this, what's changed? What's different? Has something happened in our politics? Well, I don't know. He's like a, a comedian or like a showman or something. Donald He's not. Trump. Yes. And it's just the whole thing is not Oops. working with Congress, not working with. That's the way things get done in this country, truthfully. Politics has always been a contact sport. You know, that's but always no, been the case, but our culture is different now. That's right. I mean, I don't think a president would ever have shouted profanities in a speech in front of thousands of people with kids in the crowd. Who did that? Your buddy. He does it all the time. I mean, that's different because our culture is different. That would have never been acceptable in the age of Reagan or my dad. Donald Trump is the Republican front runner. He's called Mexicans rapists. Well, what about women? How he's treated women. Yes, I mean, unbelievable. I don't know how women can vote for someone who said what he said about Megyn Kelly. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. And we knew what he meant, too, a woman. Mm -hmm. Don't you get in his firing line. And money doesn't buy everything. It's accomplishments and what you're doing and giving. And it's incomprehensible to me.